Hello everybody, DMart95 here, about ready to do a video about a topic not often talked about enough when you're doing a big bore kit, is the starter clutch and the starter. Well, when you install a big bore kit and you go over stock sizes, it creates more compression in your engine and you need something a little more heavy duty to stand up to all the new forces that your engine finds. So with the GY6, the 150 and the 50cc, there's quite a few options out there for you to consider, but this, this video right here, we're gonna be doing only talking about merchandise for a 150 big board up to 232 or whatever you decide to do it to. But today we're gonna uh, examine some of the different options out there and try to kind of cue you in on uh, what your choices are. So when, when you build one of these big boards, is what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to select uh, upgraded starter. Now right here, this one, this model right here is a Banjing. This is one of the most expensive ones out there. This one right here, it's sold by GY6 Racing and a few other sellers. I cannot find any specs for it, but it appears to be lightweight. This is the lightest one I have out of the lot. It comes in at 50, or, uh, one pound, five ounces. And uh, yeah, I don't have any specs for it. All I know is they sell it as a high performance starter. I haven't had a, the opportunity to test it out yet. So, and that's the same thing with this one. This one, I am an official Tata seller, and this one was sent to me as a, a I, I don't know what, I can't think of the word they called it, but this is a counterfeit Tata starter. It is a high performance one, but the quality components that a Tata starter has are not in here. Here, let me show you. This right here is a genuine Tata starter. This one is not. As you can tell, it's got a different boot up here than the Tata. And there's also other subtle differences like Tata won't just have the sticker. I don't know if you can see that inscription right there. But it says right on there. It, there's a Tata stamp and it's got inscriptions on there. This copycat does not have that. So, now while this is a performance starter, it doesn't have the quality components like your Tata will have. Tata is a really good price too for what they offer. This will work on anything from a 150 to a 232 cc. Now, I'll give you the weight real quick. The weight of each one of these starters are as follows. Tata comes in at 2 pounds, 3 ounce, 3.8 ounces. The generic one, or copycat, 2 pounds, 0.8 ounces. This lightweight one, 1 pound. One pound, 15 ounces. A stock one. One pound, 15.2 ounces. That's a really good weight for a performance starter. And the Banjing. Two pounds, 1.8 ounces. Now, some notes about these starters. If you're looking for one and you don't know the specs, it's nine spline. These are splines. These, see these things? The, uh, they're splines, so I don't know what else to call them, but how this looks like a gear. 
if you count these little things, one, two, three, four, there's nine of them. It's nine spline. The distance right here is 78, 79 millimeters. The performance ones in stock sometimes vary from 78 to 79. This right here, the diameter at the O-ring, 30 millimeters. Shaft length, 21.5 millimeters. The shaft diameter, 11.75 millimeters. So those are your choices you have for the starters. Now, something often overlooked. People put these big bore kits on there, and then they go slapping the high torque starter on, and then they hear this spinning noise still coming from their engine. Well, when you upgrade the starter clutch, you have to also upgrade, or when you upgrade your starter, you have to also upgrade your starter clutch. Now, the different choices are out there are pretty much the same. You've got a Tata starter clutch. These two are generic. I don't know who makes them, but that's a 20 sprog. This is a 9 sprog. They're also called rollers. That's got 9 rollers. Tata has four. These are the rollers. The Then there's the NCY. NCY has got a total of eight, but they're smaller. NCY is the lightest out of the bunch. Or maybe the Banjing is, actually. And then you've got the Banjing, which has five. Now, out of these, I personally can't tell you which is the best. Uh, these two, I just got, and this one, I just got. I have used the NCY one, and I've used the Tata one in my builds before, and they work just fine. Haven't had any problems. That's pretty much what I expect out of these other ones, too, the Banjing. These ones are less, this one, they boast is the best out of the bunch. It's also the heaviest out of the bunch. Now, if you're looking at the weight, remember this weight is on your crankshaft. If you're looking at the weight, uh, you may want to go with something like the uh, Banjing. All right, actually, here, let me give you the weight. The weight for the Tata. 15.4 ounces. The 20 Sprog design, 1 pound, 3.6 ounces. 9 roller design. This thing is real heavy duty. 1 pound, 4.2 ounces. NCY, 13.8 ounces. Banjing, only 10 ounces. So Banjing is the lightest one out there. So these are your choices you have. Uh, you know, you've got the super heavy duty, you've got the Tata, you've got the Banjing, NCY. But it's important that you get a good starter clutch to go with your uh, high, high torque starter. This right here is called your starter gear. I cannot tell you how many people get that confused with this right here. This is your starter idle gear. Now, what's the difference? Well, the difference is the starter gear goes with the clutch, okay? The idle gear goes up in your uh, goes up in your case. It sits in like that. There's a little hole up in there. Now, see right here how that turns. Actually, I don't know if you can see that or not. Ah, oh, wrong side. That's like that. And when you start your motor, this turns, turning that. Excuse me. So, on the other side, right here, 
your starter goes on that. So it's kind of like this on there. Let me see if I can do this. That on there like that. And that like that. That's your gears, your starter gears right there. When your starter engages, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. You like my vroom, vroom sounds? But anyways, that's the whole assembly right there. And these are the different choices that are available for you. Now, this right here, there's no such thing as a performance idle gear or heavy duty one. At least not one that I have seen. Uh, there might be one out there that's maybe made of heavy duty or metal or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe a titanium shaft or something. However, all metals heat and uh, expand and contract differently. So, I have no idea. But, bottom line, I haven't seen one of these yet. And there are many, many, many different uh, starter clutches you can choose from. Many different high-performance starters you can choose from. But the whole point of this video was pretty much... This is hardly ever talked about in big bore videos or anything like that. So I just wanted to point out, when you upgrade to a high-torque starter, also upgrade right here to the uh, high-performance starter clutch and starter gear. Well, all these starter gears are the same, so there's not really much difference. So anyways, I hope uh, if you had any questions about the starter or a high-torque starter and the starter clutch I hope this answered it and you know I'm sorry I don't have numbers like how much torque is available and how strong these are how, how much force they'll take before they break they simply don't uh, publish that information and nobody out there has it so I'm sorry I can't be more help in that regard oh one one other thing I should point out when you upgrade to a high performance or high torque starter, make absolute sure you use heavy gauge wire. Kata automatically includes this. This is real nice and thick. I don't know. This is probably about eight, eight, well, somewhere in between 10 and eight, maybe six gauge. I'm not sure. Now, over here on this copycat, it's thinner. This is probably 12, 10 gauge. And Banjing doesn't supply one at all. And neither does this lightweight. And you know, actually, that was not factored into the weight. That may have been a consideration why those were heavier than these. You know, the heavier gauge wire. So anyways... I hope this answered any uh, questions you may have about the uh, high performance stuff or heavy duty, whatever you want to call it. Performance is a word often tossed around when it shouldn't be. But anyways, if you want to talk about any of this or you have any questions or, you know, just want to discuss about your what kind of experiences you've had. I've got an awesome web form that's got a bunch of really cool members. In fact, I, I was inspired to do this video by RCQ. His name's Roger. He's a really, really cool guy. He's on my forum. And uh, I wanted to make this video to show him what the different options are available. So anyways, uh, make sure you guys come and check us out at our forum. It's growing super fast. It's uh, www.dansgaragetalk.com. Again, that's dansgaragetalk.com, all one word. Hope to see you guys there later on. This is D Martin 95 and I'm out.